Welcome to Brick 3 on Break On Through. Today we're going to create a website, a one-page landing site on Squarespace. So what you're seeing here is the end result. So we're going to work backwards on these steps to get you a one-page site so that people can type in a domain name that you own, come to the site, enter their email, get something for free, and be added onto your list. This creates new prospects, which turns into clients and customers. So let's actually walk through the steps. It's really easy to do. Anyone can do it, and Squarespace is a great platform to try it on. So here we are in the back end of Squarespace. So what you need to do before this step is actually connect your domain to a Squarespace site, and then you're going to create a cover page. With a cover page, you're going to name that page. For this example, we're going to use BOT Break On Through Test. And with this, you get to choose from a variety of templates. Once you click the little widget, you can actually select an image in the background. And then with that image, you can have a background image that's branded for you. So take a look at the way this is coming together. So first we chose the book cover, and this is a project we're working on called Big Feet. And it's a kid's book. Um, and we just want to build up a list so that when the book comes out, we'll actually have people to send and the book will become marketed that way via an email list. And that's the power of having a website that's branded with an email list. So if you click the little arrow next to BOT, you can change the layout. Squarespace has a variety of great layouts to choose from. You can see if you scroll down, there's a variety of layouts. And these are, remember, just one page landing pages. And these allow people to enter their email address, or you can send them to social media. For this example, they're going to get a free download PDF of the book or a sample of the book, and then that's going to be the freebie for entering their email address. On this one, we're going to select card. And this is one I've used before. It's really clean and simple, and now we're going to customize it. So the first thing you do is the branding and text, and I'm going to change the, all of this, obviously. It's all customizable. And for this one, I'm going to put tall tales for wild toes. So this is kind of like your subtitle on the top, and then the top is going to be the name of the book, the name of the book in our case. In your case, you might want to put something that's engaging, that grabs their attention, that makes your kind of promotion or something you're giving away really enticing. So be really marketing savvy here. Use call to action terminology and make things that are interesting and are value add benefit that they're going to really want to click on once they arrive. And they're going to be getting here from social media or other things that you're doing, and you're going to be directing them here to add them to your list. This is in place of using something like lead pages or click funnels. Um, this is something that you can own and is branded on your own website domain that can live on a business card, because a lot of times lead funnels and click, or sorry, lead pages and click funnels are not something that you can put on a business card if you meet somebody in an event. And that's what we want to be able to give you as a thought leader in your space. So right now I'm customizing the offer of why and what it actually is. A new child's book from myself, download the storyboards and telling them what they get and how to do it. And a thank you. And actually how to follow us on Instagram. None of this is actually 100% live yet. This is a test. So after this, I'm going to go to media. I'm going to choose what kind of imagery or video I want to use. And I can either upload my own images or I can use Getty, which I believe is about $10 per image. I think they haven't changed that. And it gets built right to your Squarespace account. So right now I'm choosing media that I want to use in the background of the, of the website. And I feel like that was a little bit too big, so I'm actually going to end up tiling that later. So this is the actual call to buttons, call to action buttons. So what do we want people to do? And I think you should only have one call to action. So what we're going to do is create a form. And on that form, you're going to be able to see that this is going to get your free download. And you really want to use heavy call to action terms here so that people can really leverage what you want them to do. So I'm going to delete that first button. And as you can see, we can do follow and we can type in any website address you want people to follow you on. But we really want the first one to just really be get your free download. So right now I'm typing in our Instagram address. And so that people can follow us on Instagram, so they can either get the free download or follow you. Either way, you want to create a relationship with you. Now, this is Squarespace's custom form. So this is what is actually going to be information that you collect on your user. And then it's going to be sent to you in a variety of ways. So right now, I'm customizing the form. 
And you can obviously pause this and see how it looks on Squarespace. And this is the way we like to do it. And first, I'll put an email address first, a name and email. Now, storage is how do you want this delivered to you or stored? So we have an email address that we can use. So right now, I'm connecting the email address. You can actually save this information to Google Drive or a MailChimp email list. You have to pre-create that in MailChimp, just so you know. And now I'm customizing the actual form that people will see. I always like to give them a thank you or a done and try to make this more unique and custom than their normal forms. So what I'm going to write in here is actually they have to fill out their name and email. And then once they see this thank you message, this is actually going to be where they click to get the download. So they don't have to actually wait for their email. They're actually going to click it right on this thank you page. And they're not going to get it from their email. They're going to do it right here on this page. The benefit of this is that they're staying on your website and they're not going back to their email or it's not going into spam. So this is a nice perk of using it, this process in this way. You can always also email them later with the actual download if you prefer to do it that way. Um, this is just one way that we've done it. It's very fast. People get instant gratification for downloading it immediately <clears throat> Excuse me, on this form. So this is why we're, and I'm going to put it in big bold letters, click here to download. And once we highlight that and make that hyperlinkable, we actually attach the PDF file or you can send them to a video link if you'd like to do a video. So wherever you want to direct them to, but you actually have to direct them to either a different page on your website, an external web page like a video page on YouTube, or right here you can attach a PDF download or a document and they can click right here to do it. And that's what we're going to do in this example. So as you're seeing, I'm typing up the email and I'm customizing it, making it feel personal. So now I highlight what I want to give them. So if you click files, you can upload a new file. So this is going to be your actual PDF to upload. So you go into your files and you find your PDF. And this is going to be actually the, you know, the storyboard that we have for our book. And we're going to give that to people so they get a sense of what the book is. And you select it here. There's my PDF. And you got multiple versions. So make sure you have the version that you want to share the most. And I always hit open in new window typically so that it keeps our window open and their new download window open. I like that because it allows people to have multiple windows of your brand open at the same time. And they'll send you a little confirmation. It's usually the top one and it's bold. And as you can see right now, and I bold that just to be really clear for people that click here, make sure they know um, how to download your thing and make sure it's really clear call to action. Now at the bottom, I put a little social media link if they also want to follow us on social media, why not? Most people never ask, so just ask. And here it has external link. You're going to type in your link, and then this will direct them to any social media or external URL website that you would like. And then you can go back through it, spell check it, make sure everything is spelled and bolded correctly the way I'm doing it here. And you can always come back into this form and update it as you need in the future, just so you know, so you can test it. At this point, we're going to look over it, make sure everything is spelled the way we would like or it reads the way we'd like. And then it, we're going to hit save and make sure that this is a saved edited form that's customizable. And again, we can come back to it as needed. So be sure to kind of test this script. This is an email script, so you just want to test it as web copy and make sure it does actually read right and people are clear on what they do. And they're you know, enticed to get excited to download it on this page. So again, you want to use your marketing language here that's branded in your language that you feel comfortable with. We check the link to make sure it's the right link. And this way we know that they're going to get the right thing when they click on it. And that's part of, you know, this work is really just double checking your work and making sure that what you say you're going to do and give them is actually linked and it's there. So at this point you scroll down and make sure everything reads the right way and we're ready to hit save. And we're going to check on storage and check through the forms. So at this point you hit save and you're back to the place you want to be, which is the main call to action buttons and you hit save again to save all that work you just did. Now it's up to you if you want to have social icons. I find them on a page like this somewhat distracting. So it's up to you if you want to check them on or off. And for this example, it's okay if people want to see more. 
and it's up to you if you want to connect your social media channels and that's done in the settings in the main Squarespace settings to connect accounts at this point now I'm gonna customize this page so the customization is great you can just click to see how you want to lay out the imagery the positioning the branding the color so now we can change fonts and colors and all these different aspects of this page so it comes off to be a branded thing that matches your brand or the offer that you're doing and again you can change the fonts there are hundreds of font examples that you can bring in and upload so we're going to use a font called Able for this one and then you can change the size of the font and the color so it's all 100% customizable for how you want it to read and feel for the viewer and this is why we did the branded work first so that you have a sense of what the brand is for your project or for your offer and you want to stay consistent with that branding you don't want to deviate all over the place you can make tweaks here with color as long as it has a continuous feel and there's some synergy with the rest of your larger brand so now I'm just selecting each area and when it has a box around it that will tell you where you're gonna change and all you have to do is click it it's very easy to do it's very drag and drop simple you just literally click settings and figure out what is the brand and the type that you want it to read like and you can change the settings again and the color so that it's easy for people to read it and I suggest bigger fonts than you might normally think of so that people on a phone or on a computer can actually read this quite easily and here I'm just selecting different customization and options I recommend a minimum of one font a maximum of two fonts. You don't want to be changing fonts and all over the place, but you, you can use more than just one font, and I would use them in different areas, either the title, the body, or the call to action buttons. And again, you hit save in the top left corner, and that will save your work. You do have to continue to hit save in different windows using Squarespace. And now we're back to the main page, and we've kind of got our actual page it's already built so that didn't take more than 10 minutes to design and build obviously you have to work on your original download first and you can write the script offline so that's ready to go now if you type in a third button here this is just gonna I'm just doing this as a test to show you that you could have a third link but again we don't recommend that you have too many call to actions because it will distract them from the main one definitely put the form as the number one or the highest that that's the first option for people to click on and in this example it's get your free book as the top call to action right now what you're seeing is other pages that we can link people to on our site so if we want to drive them to another page on the site to get more information we can do that so right here we're, we're clicking learn more and they can find out more before they do this step so some people need a little bit more information before they're going to give you their email address in a form so that's one reason why we sometimes use this is we allow people to learn more before they actually have to enter their email which some people feel is private so they're not going to give it to everybody and you're not going to get a hundred percent conversion rate here and this is what it looks like you just type in you just click each thing and because we haven't built the Instagram page that's why it's not showing up yet that was just an example and now we're back to pages so you can see as we scroll down this was BOT test and these are all the different options that we went through And if you click the widget these are the actual HTML examples. so if we want to change the actual HTML name so for our website it's bhmedia.co and then this would be slash bot slash dash test that's the actual URL that people will type into their web browser on Chrome or Firefox or Safari so this is the what I just did was change the actual URL address and in the page header code you can actually plug in YouTube and Google and Pinterest and Facebook pixels for ads and tracking and so that you know that the tracking and the data coming in is being analyzed in other software so that's what the header code injection is and that's if you click the page example or sorry the page and then the widget and that will bring you to advanced settings in the top right corner you see that and you're gonna actually replace these with code that you get from those other pages and that's a whole different topic that I'll talk to you about so now if I type it in bhmedia.co slash bot dash test this is your new landing page and you can see how easy it is to just type in your email address your name and click done then it's gonna take me I think I didn't configure that right for this example um, so I'm gonna go back in and again you're always testing so I always recommend you go in and test and right now I'm testing the storage and I don't think I hit the connect button 
when we did this. I was working too fast. And see how it shows there now? I'm going to hit save and then get back and see how it looks on the actual real page. And all you have to do is hit refresh in your web browser and you can really test how this will function for the viewer, for the audience that's coming in. That's a pop-up we use to drive people to the course. And here we're going to type in our email address. And this is just what the user will do. And right here they can download the book. It's going to pop open in a new window. And once they click this, they can actually click and download it and get it immediately. There's no email needed. And there is your PDF. If they want to click the right top right corner download button, they can download it. And this is the storyboard of our PDF just to get people excited until the real book comes out. So if you're an author, you're going to love this. If you're a speaker, you can write something or send people to a video and then people can save this to their desktop or to their computer. So this is what we did. We just built a one page landing. It took 10 minutes. And so this is why guys, I don't want you to feel like you can't do this stuff. This is really easy stuff to do nowadays. And I want you to know that you can really get this going on your own. So that's the end of this tutorial. You're going to have questions. Don't worry about it. Put them into the comments on the course page. If you need to send us an email, we're going to be diving into this even more. But I just wanted to show you how easy it is to do to get your landing pages up and to get things out online in a branded way so you can get people to give you their email address or give you some personal information. You can add them to your list. And before you know it, you're going to have more prospects, which turn into consumers and customers of your products. So don't feel stopped. Reach out today. If you have any questions, you will probably about this video. Put them in the comments or send us an email to course at bhmedia.co. And we're so excited to see what you build. If you feel like you're comfortable sent, uh, sharing your lead page with us, um, what we just built, then definitely put that into the comments also. We would love to see, and the other course members and myself and the other experts would love to see and give you feedback on your lead page, see if we can tweak it for you and get it out there. And that's this week's breakthrough challenge. So stay tuned. Congratulations. You got a one page lead page up. That's more than 90% of the people out there that can do that. So I just want to congratulate you. You're, you're making great progress on this course and keep it up. We're almost there. Thanks. Take care. Thank you.